You can add time from various places and bill for time. When in a new time entry, you will have some required fields and other non-required fields to choose from. Your five default required fields will be your client, which you can click into and pull down the client list, type in a client's name, or add a new client if you have access to do so. Project, which may say something like matter or case or whatever the mnemonic was changed to in your system settings. Activity, private description, and labor time. The requirement for activity can be turned off, so if you do not wish to use an activity for each entry, you can go and uncheck Require Activity Type on Time Entries in your system settings. If you bill with ABA standard codes, they can also be turned on in your settings or on a per-client or project basis. Other options in the time entry are the timer, which you can start or pause whenever needed. For user, which can only be pulled down if you have access to add time for other users. You will have the option to update your text that shows on your invoice. Uncheck Show Private Description on the Invoice, and you will see the Public Description box appear. If checked, you can enter in a less detailed description for the client to see on invoices in the Public Description while keeping a more detailed explanation for reporting purposes in the Private Description. Date of Work allows you to choose the date of the entry. Start and end time allows you to track start and end times per entry and have that calculate your labor time. Entry type will be set to hourly work depending on your project settings, but you can pull this down to choose flat fee work for a one-time flat fee entry. The billable box will be checked by default depending on the settings for your project. Unchecking this will make entry non-billable, which will show the client hours worked but at a no charge or zero dollars on their invoice. Exclude from invoice means the entry will be non-billable and internal for the client. You can still run reports on the entry, but it will not pull into an invoice. This option will only be available if it is turned on in your user permissions. Depending on your permissions, you will be able to view and edit the rate you are billing at for this specific entry. By checking the override box, you can enter a new rate just for this particular time entry. Travel time allows you to add hours per travel, and lastly, billable hours show labor plus travel together. If you want to override the billable hours, you can check the override box next to it. So say you worked six hours but only want to charge for three of those hours, you can enter that here. You then have three saving options at the bottom. Save and Duplicate allows you to save your entry but keep everything filled in and on your screen. This comes in handy if you have to add the same entry details over again for a different client, or if you have to add more time entries for the same client. You can make the changes that are necessary and save them again and again as needed. Save and New allows you to save the entry but brings up a blank new entry, and Save and Close means to save the entry and close it down. Thank you for watching the Bill for Time Adding Time tutorial. Please click to continue watching for the next video in the series.